Dear students, welcome to biology class. Before that, please subscribe the channel for watching more videos. Let us continue chapter Protectors of Biosphere. This is the third and last part. In previous classes, we have studied about photosynthesis and phases of photosynthesis. So we understood that plants give us food and oxygen. Do plants provide only food and oxygen? Plants food and oxygen matra no provide in another. What all things we are getting from the plants? Some examples are given here. We get coffee beans from the plants. We get rubber from the plants. You know about rubber trees, right? So this rubber is used for preparing many economically important products. So we are getting pepper from the plant. We know that pepper is having many uses and we are getting fruits from the plants. So like these plants are helping us. Ocean at Pavit land. Land ne pola thanne amazing aitala urvaad karingal alor place ane the ocean. Ocean to have different types of organisms, plants, etc. Observe this illustration that is ocean as an ecosystem. Here you can see phytoplanktons, algae and water plants. They are producing food and oxygen after photosynthesis. The oxygen is then released into the atmosphere and some amount of oxygen is used by fishes and other organisms. That means about 70 to 80 percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere is contributed by algae and phytoplanktons present in the sea. Atmosphere lulla 70 to 80 percentage oxygen produce another from the ocean. So ocean ecosystem is very important. We have to protect it. Like land pollution, ocean pollution also adversely affect organisms including human beings. So that means nowadays ocean is highly polluted. So this will affect us because majority of the oxygen is produced from the ocean. So we have studied that plants give us food, plants give us oxygen and plants give us many other economically important products. So plants are considered as earth's wealth. What are the other uses of plants? Plants helps in purification of air. Air purify cheyamandi plants help in and mitigation of natural disasters. Pragrithi durandangal prevent yamandiyum plants help in and mangrove forest help in controlling tsunami to some extent. We know about tsunami, right? So mangrove forest can control tsunami. Mangrove forest means kandal kadugal and bamboo forest, reed, vetiver, lemongrass protect the river banks from collapsing during flood. Flood and down the samayath, river banks in a protect yam vandi e para in the plants okke help in the like bamboo forest, reed, vetiver, lemongrass. Trees and bushes in mountains and hills prevent soil erosion and landslide. So all these trees and bushes prevent soil erosion and landslide in mountains and hills. It is not when natural calamities happen that one should think about nature conservation. That means we have to be aware about nature conservation every time, not only during natural calamities. Nature conservation should become part and parcel of everyone's life. Nature should be used wisely and preserved for the generations to come. So this nature is not only for us, it is also for the future generation. So we have to protect it. Green plants are the protectors of biosphere. So the chapter heading is protectors of biosphere. So green plants are the protectors of biosphere. Hence for the conservation of nature, nurturing plants should be considered as one's prime responsibility. Hope you understood the importance of conservation of nature.